Hello, my name is Luis. We just sold a hybrid RCLM. It's a used unit, and uh, before I send it to the client, I want to make sure that uh, it's in very good working conditions. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I know the engine, the housing blew up, so I'm gonna have, we're going to have to replace that. Well, this is the engine out of the uh, RCLM B-Class frame. And, uh, if you can see the damage. Uh, okay, I see. So that's the part that it broke. Uh, which is the arm that is connected to the piston. And once it broke, it just hit the housing and it just broke everything. All right, so we're gonna replace the engine. Well, I think we should be able to reuse the uh, blade adapter. Let me just check, oh yeah, it is in good conditions. So let me just get this tool and see if we can get it out. That's the blade adapter. The, uh, the blade adapter that came with the uh, previous engine uh, used a uh, 316 key. Uh, the new engine that we're going to be putting uh, onto the unit is uh, it's a stronger engine, and the key is quarter of an inch. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, uh, change the key from 316s to a quarter of an inch, which is the uh, appropriate. <laughs> Now we got to find a way of uh, getting the old key out, and I think by grinding it, that probably will help. Get the key out now. The new key is, as you can see, three sixteenths and quarter of an inch. You probably can see the difference. I didn't want to bother with filing the slot for the key, so I just went ahead and put it on the mill. Pretty much 
do it. Well, this is right after milling the uh, slat. You can see that the uh, key fits really nice and smooth. Well, we have the uh, blade adapter ready for uh, welding. That's our quarter of an inch key. And it fits really good. We have a jig here for welding. And uh, let's see how this works. Right here. Uh, it's beautiful. All right, we're ready for welding. Now we have a nice, thick welded, quarter of an inch uh, blade adapter uh, key. Here we have a brand new engine for our unit. Uh, we want to open it. Check the key is a quarter of an inch. Perfect. That should do it. And this is the. Uh, and for the first time, we're going to test the uh, key to see if it fits. Now that we have disabled the uh, the brakes with this uh, clip, now you can see that we can now move the uh, shaft of the engine. Easy. Yeah, we need to do this because the uh, brain controls the... Uh, okay, engine. now we're going to mount the brand new engine onto the deck. Oops. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use a torque range to uh, 25 foot pounds of torque and this is very adequate for uh, a 3 8 3 ball on aluminum and steel. Okay. 
Okay, now it's time to mount the uh, alternator. It's a brand new alternator that goes on the unit. Uh, goes just like this. This ground cable broke, so uh, we're going to be replacing this. Let's get it. It's a number 12. Now that we have the ground, uh, we are going to connect the high power 24 volts uh, connection lead, just like this. And now it's metric number 11. It's a brand new blade, a brand new bolt. Again, this needs to be torqued to uh, 41 foot pounds of torque. We are getting a brand new brain tested and fully functional before installing it on the unit. We're getting ready to do the uh, 200 milliliter test, and it's the first time we're going to do this on this brand new engine. That should give us approximately uh, 15 minutes of uh, drive test. Let's put this to a nice height. Okay, we're going to be testing this unit for the first time, and uh, this unit comes equipped with the uh, wireless uh, manual transmission, two speed. Right now it's set to uh, first gear, and uh, you can see that it's very easy to uh, maneuver. Well, I think this unit is ready.